if you work at a company like I work at Rackspace, a lot of times we need writers to tell our story, to do content for our blogs and our websites. How do you do that? Well, Contently has the answer. I'm going to hear more about that right now. So who are you? My name is Joe Coleman. I'm the co-founder of Contently. And uh, I've basically been doing startups since I was 16. Um, we originally started a greeting card site, went to college and studied philosophy, got out of college, started a reward site, and then got the uh, inspiration to start Contently. Um, and so here I am today. And what is Contently? So Contently is an easy way for businesses to get high quality writing done. What we're finding is that brands are increasingly producing more and more content but publishing isn't their core competency. So typically brands don't have people in-house who can write the content. Usually they don't want to build editorial teams. And, uh, and there's really no central place where you can go and find great writing talent. So Contently is building that marketplace of professional journalists and bloggers where companies can come and find great talent and work with those guys to create great content. And you, have, you charge a flat rate for uh, blogs, right? Yeah, so we're still in the very early days of our company. We really pick pricing that we feel like works best for our clients and our and our writers. Um, so it's likely to change as we evolve down the road, but we've uh, sort of settled on some flat rate pricing that we feel like provides good value to the brands as well as the writers. And sort of as we grow, that's going to evolve as well. It's it's something like hundred fifty dollars a post, right? It's yeah, pretty so affordable for most comp most big companies at least. Yeah, it is, and we don't uh, we don't price it out per post. We typically do monthly commitments. So um, while we're really locking in. A lot of our early clients were making sure that when we work with them, we can provide great value. And so to that end, we provide additional editorial resources on top of the writing, um, which means that we require monthly minimums and just uh, just to make sure we do a really good job. Yeah. Tell me about the the site and what it does. So if I'm if I'm working at Procter and Gamble or a, a store or something like that, and I need some some content written, what do I do and what does it look like? Yeah. So right now, what happens is you come to Contently. Um, we basically do a deal, and the first thing we do is we get you on a call with our head of editorial where we go over a lot of the higher level de details of, around your brand. So who your audience is, what your goals are, topics that you want to cover, um, do's and don'ts for the content. We use that information to basically build a style guide, um, which we can then give to writers and editors to make sure they're creating content that's well written and on point. Um, the other thing we use that style guide for is to go out and actually find a pool of writers who are uniquely suited for your project. So. Uh, one of the things we believe about great content is it's important to have not just a writer who's a good writer, but also somebody who really understands the topic they're writing about. Um, so we have that big database of professional journalists and bloggers. We know that they're good writers. We know what they're really good at writing about. So uh, if P&G comes to us and needs specific writers around a certain topic, we can go and connect those uh, P&G to you know, a group of writers who talk about those sorts of things and can do a good job with that content. Interesting. Yeah. And so on the writer side, what does it look like? And yeah. how do I become a writer? It's probably a good way to make some money yeah. if you have writing skills, right? Yeah, so one of the things we're most excited about about the business is really giving freelance journalists a new way to work. Um, so being a freelance writer is, is really hard. And uh, especially you know, as you start out from journalism school and do these various things, you spend a lot of your time pitching editors and chasing checks. But all you really want to do is write about the stuff you love. And so at Contently, we found a unique formula where we have brands paying for high quality original content. Um, they're willing to pay more than, say, traditional media companies and people who are you know, uh, only paying as much as they can afford based on ad, ad impressions and those sorts of things, um, which means that we can then give writers higher payouts and basically uh, allow them to essentially earn a living through Contently. Um, so we're really excited about that value proposition. When you come to Contently, you basically uh, sign up, tell us about yourself, tell us what you're really good at writing about. Um, and then we use that information to connect you with, uh, with projects that you'd be good at writing about, assuming you pass the minimum criteria, which is basically just for us to ensure that um, our publishers are getting good quality writing. Yeah. You know, at Rackspace, we're building a whole team to tell, basically tell stories on behalf of the company. Yep. Um, and that storytelling means web design, means a lot of video. That's what we're doing, right? Indeed. Um, and means good blogging. Are you thinking of how to expand contently out of just the writing interface and, and into the web design and into the video space as well? Yeah, it's certainly come up. You know, there's a lot of interesting corollaries to what we're doing. So, for instance, we do a lot of image-based stuff. People always want images in their content. 
So it might make sense down the road for Contently to get into that space. Maybe video makes a lot of sense. Um, but in the short term, we feel like there's a big opportunity, a big need that needs to be filled here. So we're really just focused on getting high quality content out and, and making sure we can do that and then moving into other stuff. Yeah. How, how are you funded? And uh, tell me about the business fundamentals of the company. Yeah, so we, um, we raised a seed round in June from Founder Collective, um, smallish round, and then we've done tech stars and actually seen a lot of great growth um, over the last several months. Um, so. Uh, so we're not in a tremendous hurry to raise money, but we know we're going to raise more soon and have a lot of stuff we, we want to do around that. Yeah. Tell me about Techstars. What 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 has the experience been in yeah. 2011? Um, I would say Techstars has been worth every point of equity. Um, we were initially a little hesitant coming in because we were a little further along than a lot of companies and uh, initially didn't really get the value. Um, and uh, Tish here in New York really sold us on it and we were really in a good position to take advantage of what the program offered, which is primarily you know, meeting lots of amazing people who can introduce you to more amazing people, prospective clients, that sort of thing. And um, so it's a really great platform. You can kind of do whatever you set out to do on it. You know, I think having your own agenda is important and then just using the resources they give you to make that happen. Yeah, it's pretty crazy you're starting, uh, you're, uh, starting a, a demo day is next week, right? Yep. Have you been getting any sleep? Um, so I'm actually not doing the, the pitch my, my partner is, um, and I know he's like not getting any sleep. Really, to be honest, none of us are getting sleep because we're working on a lot of crazy stuff and trying to get a lot of deals done. Um, but yeah, we're really, we're really excited about it and uh, really excited. Techstars experience has been great, but it's nice to think about what our business is going to look like in six months, a year, and start kind of planning outside of this bubble that we're in right now. Yeah. Yeah. Where do I learn more about it? Um, yeah, you can just go to contently.com. It's just basically contently.com but it's not .ly, so, yep. yep. <laughs> so confusing getting the right domains. Yep, um, indeed. And are you, you're on Twitter and Facebook as well, or? Um, yeah, so Go Contently is the Twitter handle. Mine's Joe D. Coleman. I have like 100 and something followers, so I actually wouldn't waste your time. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, check out Go Contently. There's lots of great, we do a lot of great content ourselves about creating a content strategy. I would expect so. I yeah, yeah. I hope you use your own platform to find the bloggers yes. to write for it's your It's very blog. meta, but it works out well. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much for showing it to me, and thanks for what you're doing for uh, brands that need help telling stories to the world. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for your time.